hello and thank you so very much for joining me tonight i just want to have a quick little introduction to our session i'm trying to make this a habit to do an introduction but i've specifically got you in this angle i really want you to be able to see the the altar here and just this is really what i wanted to focus on and just kind of guide you through a little a little supportive work, not even guide, but just host a little supportive work for you, potentially, of course, in correspondence with the lesson we had this month in Patreon. Thank you so much for those of you who are joining me over there. It is truly an honor to connect with such a beautiful, uplifting community. I I just blown away every time I get an email or a notice pops up of a comment over there. It's just so beautiful and I can't thank you enough. So this session is to support the little lesson that we had, which was about introducing frequencies as a method of kind of shifting gears, allowing us to enter a more neutral space, a more space of possibility or change, something untethered as we may have been on a potentially downward spiral through repetitious thoughts that are disempowering through um, associating ourselves, connecting, feeling a personal connection with that which is not empowered, whether that's beating ourselves up, whether that's depression, whether that's just a really bad and off day and kind of being in a funk or something like that. So I hope this gentle session serves and supports you. Thank you so very much. And now we'll get into our session, all right?
right, well, welcome to our little session to support introducing frequencies, creating a voidless, uh, a void space, a zero gravity space, even for a moment to shift gears, to coast, to gain perspective. And it's not even like gaining, right? Like, Oh, let me have it. I need to find it. It's allowing processing. It's allowing redirection. It's allowing seeing things, witnessing things differently from that shifted perspective. It's like the dusk or the dawn, the in-between. And that space is so free and so without magnetism necessarily that we can introduce our own magnets such as higher thought such as just peace acceptance or again tuning into gratitude or wonder i haven't picked up my kalimba in a while <laughs> but even a little simple tool like that can be so helpful to shift gears This has been my favorite way, as of late, <laughs> of working in energetic fields because I know there's so much already in the energy fields, like emotion, like challenge, like fret, like who knows. So I like to approach with a tender hand, a gentle hand, and prayer, and candle dedication, gentle intentions. They're sort of the way to go for me anyway. So before we even light this, we're charging it, we're dedicating it to send, direct, just like if you ever have incense by a candle or any kind of smoke and you can see and witness as the little flame is burning that it's pulling air in, it's moving air, it's creating a current. That's sort of what we want to focus on, creating a very powerful but precisely um, the right level, like precisely what is best, not forcing things, but still powerful, as powerful as possible, <laughs> as powerful as comfortably possible, to create these currents, these channels, these movements, this flow around you, through you. May you catch your breath, may you enter a subtle space, a subtle um, frequency, to help you in ob observation, in logic perhaps, or more like an analytical way of processing things, to allow your heart to process, your mind, and to just kind of keep you stable, keep you balanced, keep you connected no matter what you're going through. That freshness coming in. And if you have your own intention here, you'd like to set just Send it into the darkness of this tin. Focus on the blackest part you can see, the darkest part. Focus on the void. The space between the cells, the moments between the emotions, the feelings. That little second or millisecond or whatever it might be between each breath. And direct your will. Set your intention. We're going to light our candle. You can still send it in. I was working with this candle last night, so it has been lit already. Just send in your wish, your will, your intention here. Into the wax. See it melt in, see 
it warm. See it be carried as we light our candle. Can we see the frankincense? Incense matches. On behalf of the highest, greatest good, perfect comfort, perfect alignment. Just have a little look at the glow and just settle in with your intention and just allow, just allow right now the opportunity for a shift for whatever you may need right now. Whatever may support you. Shell necklaces that were gifted to me. And I know they're necklaces, but they just make the best sounds. And I'm bringing these in for that water element of the shells to just support that validation. If you're if you presently are experiencing any overwhelm, any quote unquote dark times. And I use quotes only because darkness is not bad. It's just kind of a way of phrasing something. Darkness is so beautiful and powerful, free. But you know what I mean? The more downward spiral thoughts, something you can't shake, or excuse me, you've had some trouble shaking. A big life experience, grief. Whatever it might be. And actually, even before, forgive me. I'm gonna use just a little spray. This pinion pine. I hope I'm saying that right. Let's just connect with that water. Those emotions, just let them flow. Whether it's now or when they come up. Really nice smell. Very clean. We're just gonna wash this down, connecting, moving through so gently. This isn't about forcing things to balance. This isn't about manifesting right now. This is just about letting things move. Validation, emotion. Acknowledgement of how you're feeling. Just some gentle push and pull. Just like waves. Not pulling, pulling, pulling. Not extracting. Just gentle. Receiving in like a breath. Releasing out. in a shoreline. And maybe you can picture yourself standing on the shoreline. Waves come in and they go out. In and out.
gently work these around you. Just like a little massage. That's a gift. Even when I received these, it was so, so nice. So unexpected. The gift of support, care, knowing you're not alone. I wish I could give you a salty snack, but instead I have these salt crystals and I'd love for you to just picture something salty. Potato chip, popcorn, just an actual piece of sea salt. Can you imagine it? Can you feel like the saliva in your mouth start moving? Or, you know, increasing? Just gonna connect with the salt. Some gentle cleansing. Break through so we can 
just get a little light here and just affirm. Affirm that we do love ourselves. Affirm that we do know things sometimes, most of the time, happen for a reason. That we've been through it all so many times. It's just another challenge, this is another journey, and I don't mean just as in it's nothing, but it's just a breakthrough, like light shining through windows, to shine in a little love, empowered thoughts, reminders that you're not alone, you are connected, you're not powerless, you have influence. Things are going to be okay. some thoughts to hold that the world is full of beauty that nature is so powerful and knows what to do and there are cycles and influences behind the scenes that things naturally play out there is a divine alignment divine timing And perhaps we are being prepared for something. Perhaps this is a, excuse me, hurdle of healing to move through for a big breakthrough. And just channeling through a reminder. You've always been there for you. You've always been there for you. You always, always have. Even in the darkest times when you're beating yourself up. Or you feel the worst. You were there for you. Just Another spray, the duckless fur. Behind and front. information for a light bulb. Ask for just the sensation, the feeling of their presence and the comfort and security that brings. If you're looking at me here, look with your outer vision around your room. Call only, of course, guides of supreme benevolence and high vibrations. And see, as you stare here at my finger, or 
my hand. Look with your outer eyes, the corners of your eyes, as you still focus here. And just sense, do you feel anything? Do you see any colors? Anything at all? Can be helpful. You want to call through from my guides, my connections, although I believe they're all of ours, but ones I work with, the Reiki masters and practitioners that have come before me, even beyond the name of Reiki, of benevolence, of course, the students, the practitioners that will come after me, <laughs> this cycle, this lineage of healers, all working on behalf of good, all working on behalf of empowerment, on ascension, on development, calling forward, surrounding us with these orbs of prayer. Calling forward to support and again receiving only what is right for us, only what is only which is beneficial, only what we're ready for. We're not forcing, but if we're ready, that's great. Receive from your guides. Receive from the Ascended Masters. From the Seven Sacred Flames. From your ancestors. sensations, anything at all, just tune into your hands by proxy here, I'm seeing it in your hands, and gently we are directing our energies up and out and in and down through the meridians, stabilizing balancing, supporting, so gently. Again, exactly what you're ready for, exactly what would serve you most. That stillness, the feeling of love. Perhaps a ring to honor the cycles. This 
cycles of healing, the cycles of life, the ups and downs. Channeling to you a fuel and energy, energy boost. Channeling through a cleansing. And again, an aroma. I wish I could do smell a vision, but tune in and see. Can you smell a campfire? Can you smell a rich oil? Like a wood, a sandalwood, a oud. Honoring your journey. we have a resin skull. It's just meant to be kind of a placeholder <laughs> for our mind. And I have this UV light. Of all my lights, it's the most gentle, I would say. And we're going to focus on this light, connect with it, use it as correspondence, and see it as a prayer, a shift in thought, a holding of something beautiful in the mind, a connection with appreciation, a connection with hope. We're focusing on this as good, I'm sorry for my language here, as benevolence of good, of empowerment. And I'm going to channel through as I do this, but just to give you a visual, we're going to be channeling in to the mind. So with one hand at the base of your head, back here, and one hand right on the top where the crown, where the crown is, we're channeling through, supporting the mind, supporting, processing, supporting the subconscious, Supporting your focus, your communication, channeling through to all the parts of consciousness. Illuminating, bringing that light that Awareness, that knowledge, that knowledge of self, self-understanding, your needs, the purpose of it all. Channeling through and releasing through the back here, the back of the skull, the back of mind, releasing. Releasing the negative self-talk, releasing the extreme pessimism, releasing this thing we may have been stuck on, whatever it might be. So 
that every good thing you focus on as you witness nature, watch bumblebees, pet your pet, <laughs> or prepare food, as you watch a sunset or just tune into your body and experience yourself, whatever it might be, that all that is good, all that is uplifting, all that is empowered becomes heightened. uplifting belief in you Just grounding you into the moment. Into this feeling of hopefully a good feeling, support, maybe some ASMR tingles. Anything good you can focus on right now, just anchoring it in, grounding it in. Anchored, ground. honor you as the warrior you are and I don't mean that as in battle or in a fight necessarily although I do think we <laughs> all have our own battles so to speak but a warrior of perseverance a warrior of love a warrior for peace righteousness and you show up every day Holding the keys, holding the reflection, holding the frequencies 
of authentic healing, of authentic empathy, of compassion. I just want to hold space for you in this delicate time, seeing your success, seeing your peace, Seeing your growth, seeing you rise from the ashes, in a sense. Alright, one last thing before we go. This is a Vera Cruz little amethyst point. But I'd love to consider this a blessing. And this is what comes after the dark times. This is the light that shines through. This is the clarity. This is the upswing, the swinging forward pendulum. This is the better side of neutral. <laughs> this is, this is good. And I just want to place it so you know it's there for you on the other side of whatever it is you're going through, okay? It's not a trade. It's not, it's not like that, but it's just part of the laws of the universe. You can't go down without going back up. Okay. Right. I send you so much love on your journey, so much appreciation for allowing me to share a little piece of your path tonight. Sending you all the love in the world. Thank you truly and deeply from the very bottom of my heart. I bow to the divine in you. And I into this beautiful connection that I'm so grateful that we share. So much love to you, my friend, and I hope to see you very soon with nothing but love and respect.